Hello and welcome to the fifth edition of the Coach's Corner here at the Academy of Art University. I'm your host Natalie Bohansky and I will give you a little more insight into the Urban Knights Athletic Program. Today I'll be chatting with the head coach of the women's volleyball team, Ed Jackson. Jackson heads into his second year as head women's volleyball coach at the Academy of Art University after coaching a pair of all Pac West honorees in his initial season in 2012. His recruiting skills have been widely recognized as displayed by his position as recruiting coordinator at the past two schools he has worked for. Thank you so much for being here, Ed. It's a pleasure to have you. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Of course. So after your first year as a head coach, what kind of experience did you have? Well, for our first season, um, you know, it was, I'll be honest, it was pretty rough from a win-loss standpoint. But, uh, you know, every program, when you initially go into a new school, you, you set numerous goals, um, even beyond wins and losses. And uh, uh, even though um, we struggled in that department, uh, we actually did very well uh, with our academic performance. Um, we had a great year academically. Uh, we had one of the best GPAs on the team uh, in recent in program history, as well as uh, in our athletic department. Um, and uh, really, the overall goal was just to establish a good gym culture. Uh, establish a learning environment and uh, you know have our athletes just working getting together and working towards a common goal and I think we've done a great job of establishing that and uh, it really kind of showed as we went into the spring in our off season our training segment um, where we had a really good spring and uh, I think that's gonna kind of springboard us into a great season this year. Now you just touched on how you're going to go into the future how exactly are you going to take those experiences especially with the new incoming freshmen how do you take those I'd say maybe negatives and turning them to a positive for this year? Well, I think uh, our biggest challenge we had uh, last year was just uh, finishing games. Uh, we did a great job of competing and putting ourselves in position to win. Uh, we just struggled uh, finishing matches and getting those wins. Uh, we actually, you know, we play a best three out of five sets and we went uh, five games seven times last year, uh, and that's a lot for a right. season for volleyball. And um, so I think our athletes, I, I feel our, our more mature athletes, our returners, uh, have that experience with them now. And I think that they'll be able to provide good leadership as we move forward. Um, again, I feel our recruiting class, our incoming class, is a very talented class. Um, it's probably one of the most that I feel we've had here in recent memory. Um, so that talent combined with the experience, I think we're gonna have going to see some really good volleyball this season. Talk a little bit more about that incoming class. It's a huge class. You just said they're very talented. How are they going to help this next year? Well, um, we really kind of focused in on a particular position. Uh, the outside hitting position uh, is a very important position, especially in uh, NCAA Division II athletics and volleyball. Uh, so we really put an emphasis on finding some really good quality recruits in that position to add a lot of depth. Um, we have actually four coming in, um, combining with our one returning outside hitter, actually two returning outside hitters. So there's going to be a lot of competition in that spot. Um, it's a very relied upon position. They are involved a lot in a lot of the things that go on in the volleyball game. And so um, we're hoping that you know a few of the players will step up and become two of the more dominant outside hitters in our conference. And uh, you know, help us get to that next level because it was really kind of the missing piece. I think uh, with our middle blocking position, we have a good, we, we performed very well there and our opposite did a great job and our setter was uh, fantastic as well. Um, we just needed a little bit more depth on the outside uh, and uh, I think we've got that with this class. Great. Well, your schedule is similar to last year, so what kind of goals do you have for this team this year? Well, this year it's about producing. Um, I think last year it was just about getting on the same page and you know getting the right um, culture and goals and getting us all working towards the same things and we did that we've accomplished that I feel really good about uh, the mentality of our athletes and how they're going to train this year and, and the kind of hard work they're going to put in to perform um, so really it's going to come down to just simply producing and uh, you know finding ways to get the wins and and uh, get us into the elite part of this conference and get us into the picture of being talked about for the NCAA tournament, you know, because every day 
Uh, I, and when I interviewed for this position, I told uh, you know the athletic director uh, that every day the volleyball program will always be working towards winning a national championship, and that's our goal, and that's what we're here to do. Uh, and we have that mentality, so it's just going to be a matter of time. We just got to continue to work hard in practice and train, and uh, we'll get those opportunities in competition. I think we're going to have a great year. I, uh, we did very well in the spring. Um, you know, we played a lot of those teams that we're going to see again, and we actually performed very well against them. So uh, I like where we're headed, and I think we're going to do some great things. I think it sounds like it's going to be a great year. Great. Thank you. Well, thank you. Stay tuned. Episode 6 will be airing soon.